To humans, a peck on the cheek is a clear sign of affection. But have you ever wondered what runs through your cat's mind when your face draws near? Do they actually like our hugs and kisses, or do they secretly wish we just stop? In this video, we're going to help you understand how cats perceive our displays of affection as well as learn to read their reactions. Understanding Cats' Natural Behaviors We humans are all about words and conversation. But our feline friends, they play a different game. They're all about body language. Think of a cat's tail as their very own language translator, turning cat thoughts into signals we can understand. It's more than just happy swishes and angry thrashes. In fact, there are more than 16 distinct tail signals that cats use. Have you seen your cat holding their tails high, with a slight curve at the end? It's their way of saying they're happy and comfortable in your presence. Now let's talk about personal space. We all value it, but for cats, it's not just value, it's instinct. Cats perceive territory and personal space differently than we. Their wild ancestors were solitary creatures, and our domestic friends have retained some of those traits. So while a hug might seem like a warm embrace to us, to them, it could feel like an intrusion. Some cats may not appreciate hugs and kisses because of this instinct. It's like someone invading their comfort zone uninvited. Would you believe if I told you that a cat's personal space bubble is much larger than a human's? This might just explain why they sometimes seem independent or aloof. It's not that they're not fond of you, they just value their space. Cats and the concept of hugs and kisses. As descendants of solitary hunters, cats cherish their freedom. To them, a hug might feel more like a form of restraint instead of a warm embrace. But here's a fun twist. Cats have their own form of hugging. Have you ever seen cats entwining their tails together? That's a cat-style hug, a sign of companionship and social bonding. And how about kisses? We humans love a good smooch, but for our feline pals, it might be a completely different story. Cats perceive facial proximity in a very specific way. To humans, getting up close and personal is a sign of affection. To cats, it can be a signal of dominance or even a threat. Many cats perceive direct face-to-face -face interaction as a challenge. What we consider a loving gesture might set off their internal threat alarms. Showing affection in a cat-friendly way. Let's talk about kisses cats understand, slow blinking. When a cat looks at you and slowly closes eyes, as if giving a lazy blink, it's their way of saying I trust you. This cat behavior is so iconic, it's even earned a nickname, Cat Kisses. A slow blink from your feline companion is a grand gesture, signaling they consider you a friend. Now let's delve into petting, a mutual show of affection for us and our feline pals. But not all cats like to be petted in the same areas. Some might love a good rub on the chin while others might prefer being stroked along their back. Respecting your cat's boundaries is crucial to their comfort. If you invade their space too much, they could become stressed. When it comes to petting, start from the areas most cats generally accept, like the base of the chin and cheeks. These spots are associated with positive social interactions in the feline world. Observe their reactions, and you'll quickly understand their petting preferences. Reading your cat's reactions. Over time, some cats might start to associate your kisses with positive interactions, especially if combined with other signs of affection like petting. It's all about patience, respect, and understanding your furry friend's unique preferences. So how do you know if your feline friend is comfortable with your hugs and kisses? Let's talk about signs of cat contentment. Your cat might purr, need their paws, or lean into your touch. These are all signals that they're enjoying the interaction. Here's the key point, if your cat shows these signs when you're giving them hugs or kisses, then keep doing it. They're likely associating these actions with positive interactions. On the flip side, it's just as crucial to recognize when your cat is not comfortable. Cats express discomfort in subtle ways, they might dilate their pupils, or start swishing their tail. If you notice these signs when you're expressing your affection, it's best to stop and give them some space. It's all about creating a balance between your way of showing love and their level of comfort. Remember, cats are masters of subtlety. Even a slightly swishing tail or dilated pupils can be signs of discomfort. Being aware of these small cues can drastically improve your relationship with your feline companion. 
Did you know that cats often demonstrate a preference for one person above others? Check out this video, where we talk about how cats select their favorite human companion. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.